Thank you, John Paul. Now, as the nation mourns the victims at Michigan State today also marks five years since 17 people were gunned down at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida. They were remembered today in Austin, where Uvalde victims families joined a Texas lawmaker unveiling new gun safety legislation. The Rob Elementary families tell our night teams Lee Waldman this deadly trend cannot continue. Just months after losing her sister at Robb Elementary, violence hit close to home again for Jasmine Gossetis on Monday. It's such a uniquely American experience to survive the two mass shootings, wondering if there's going to be a third. Two friends survived the shooting at Michigan State University, having already survived other mass shootings. For the Gossetis family, it's a reminder of their fight for change. Action needs to be done. You know, hopes and prayers are not going to do much. These laws need to be changed. The shooting in Michigan comes as Texas Senator Roland Gutierrez introduced new gun safety legislation. Senate Bill 911 calls for a bulk ammunition database for sales of more than 200 rounds. Those buying would need to register and complete a background check before the sale is final. SB 914 would require an ID to buy ammunition and would make it a misdemeanor for anyone to knowingly sell ammo to people younger than 18. When a kid buys over 900 rounds of ammunition and then he buys another 16 or 100 rounds of ammunition online, somehow that significance of that moment should ring true in somebody's registry somewhere. SB 912 would expand safe storage requirements for all firearms, and SB 913 would require firearm owners to have liability insurance for injuries or deaths that occur with their firearms. Max Segovia, a supporter for Eliana Torres's family, says changes are needed so more families don't face their reality. It's not, it's not any easier on this side. I promise you it's painful. It's painful and we wouldn't want anybody on our side. The families who are here say their hearts are breaking for the families of the Michigan State victims. With 67 mass shootings so far this year, according to the Gun Violence Archive, the Rob families say that alone proves gun laws need to change. At the state capitol, Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.